stumbling block in my life. Them no wants to strive. One day at a time, to give more blessing. Even in abundance, sorry, ain't got nothing. Still I call for me king. It's more blessing. Give thanks to life, loot and fair present the mindset. Blessed love, manners and respect. Do give thanks and praise for life. This is the Mindset Program. I just am your host. And I'm here with a great honor to be here with the Honorable Muta Baruka. Yeah, man, give thanks, man. Rastafari. Yes, sir, give thanks. First and foremost, I want to congratulate you on your lifetime. Oh, achievement, man. Yeah, I repent. Yes. Man. But we don't get it yet. We don't get it yet. No, it's the 24th. The mindset, talk provoking. You know. I'm your host, Honorable Ida Star, and we're there with our brand new mindset series live on the YouTube. Subscribe, Ida Star Mindset Channel, YouTube. Bless it love. Blessed love, blessed love, manners and respect. Do give thanks and praise. For life, health and strength. Yes, I one more day above ground. And as we know, life is the greatest position. I want to greet the item in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Eel Selassie I. The first. Yes, I Empress Men in the first. Warm welcome in those beautiful and divine name. Yes, viewers and subscribers, out of love to the item. Give thanks again. You know, as I say, life is the greatest position, not no greater than life. All right, so give thanks and praise. Yes, I. So, what we are looking for? We are looking for um, deportation. Yeah, deportation we are looking for today where. We see um, yesterday, Wednesday, the 11th of August, um, a number of Jamaican nationals been been deported from um, the UK. Zin. Yeah, and we see these things uh, happen regularly, very regular. You know what I mean? Very regular. I can't say within um the last two years at least probably um at least probably uh, 300 350 people probably been deported probably more probably less still you know i don't know the exact figure but you know we see a lot of deportation over the last two years all right a lot of deportation Yes, yeah, a lot of deportation over the last two years. But when Jamaican is um being deported, especially from the UK, Zin, why so much money is being spent um to publicize the deportation of Jamaicans? Why? Why so much money? Because you always hear it. You always hear it in the news. Zin, what are the agenda behind, behind that? Because criminals from other country, you know, you know, you know, hear about them being um, deported. You know, hear, you know, see it on the TV or you know, even see it in the papers. Much less pan the radio. Zin. But you always hear a lot of Jamaicans are Caribbean people is being deported and you have to wonder, you know, what what really is what really is the agenda? You know, what what why? Why so much um emphasis is 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 um is put upon that? You know, why so much emphasis? Why it always um, so publicized? You know, why is it? 
what is the agenda behind that because it's not only Jamaica nationals in the UK are criminals are get up to criminal activity see and when I condone um, any form of criminality we you know we, we, we don't you know we're not condoning any criminality see and yes of course one should um respect the law of the land any of them there you know what i mean the laws that govern that land or that specific place geographically ones have to respect that you know what i mean yeah principle is principle but also ones have to respect one's human rights See, ones have to respect that because violations of one human right, you know, is is not a good thing, and we see that all the while. See, but I never, I never hear a Polish or an Indian being deported. See, why, why so much emphasis put on um, Caribbean? And, and African people, you know, being deported out of, out of the UK. What is the agenda? Zin? What is the agenda behind it? More on the viewers and the subscribers. You know, for, for, yeah, what, what, what is the agenda? Is there an element of racism going on or is just me now a pull the race card zin is there an element of 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 racism because as me say whenever time jamaicans is being deported it it is widely publicized whether it's here in the UK or, or it's in America there's always you know some some media attention around around the whole thing why is that is that to show um Jamaicans then in a in a, in, in a bad light that you know wherever Jamaicans are you know, is 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 just is just you're gonna get some level of of criminality, which we know say everybody will come from um, Jamaica, not get up to the same activity as 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 some do. Some some Jamaicans them 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 not even in no criminality. You understand? Them are gonna do them. If it's a nine to five or them have them own business that they're running, they're gonna be doing that. Zin who I do criminal activity, they're gonna be doing their criminal activities. That that's just the reality. Zin and we not can do one in a in, in, in a that. Zin, we not can do one in a that. Where I want though is where I want though. But as I say, you have to respect the law of the land. You know, and that is thus, that is the position. Zin, that, that is thus the position. Now, you have, um, our, I must say about 50 had, about 50 had people fe, was meant to be deported yesterday from the UK. And the deportation, they go on early in the morning zin early in the morning from um a charter a charter flight from stansted zin where it was about 50 50 offenders zin that meant to be deported back to jamaica apparently it was only seven that um met the flight Zane, and we are gonna read from um we'll read from a little article quick we're gonna browse through it and 
we go and play some audio clips still all right so we are read from um the daily mail just seven criminals out of a group of 50 were actually deported back to jamaica yesterday morning after the home office was hit by a series of last minute legal challenges a charter flight to take the offenders from stansted airport at 1 a.m and wednesday morning was almost empty after dozens of appeal with with lodged by human rights lawyer within 24 hours of takeoff the 34 who evaded removal had collectively been sentenced to 245 years imprisonment for an appealing range of crime 245 years between um, 43 43 criminals they include two murderers and one man who had been handed 15 years in jail for raping a child it has been alleged that two of the offenders had had attempt suicide shortly before the flight wow so two men attempt suicide shortly before the plane take off can you believe that serious serious continuing reading the charter plane is believed to have of cost around 300,000 meaning the seven criminal removed cost the british taxpayers more than 40,000 each Pity patel expressed her fury over the diabolical saying the fierce the force allow foreigners offenders to laugh in the face of the british people the home secretary said allowing the criminal to remain in britain should be a stain on the consciousness of our nation the home office said specialist legal firms were behind a surge of application which led to 43 criminal avoiding deportation 43 avoid deportation wow so seven who were successfully deported had been sentenced to a total of 46 years in jail for offense including rape sexual offense against children assault and possession of offensive weapon one had been handed a minimum term of 20 years for murder while another served a long jail term for four counts of rape his victim was a girl age under 16. labor mp had campaigned in support of all 50 criminal with former shadow home secretary diane abbott describing the home office effort to deport them as a racist target wow and that is that is the that is a labor that is a a a, a labor mp that is saying um the thing the thing look the thing look racist that is what the labor mp is saying Zane, that the thing look like it's a racist thing so make we continue reading none of the 50 was born in britain although some came to the country as child the home office insisted it had carried out extensive check to ensure none of them had a claim to uk citizenship after the windrush scandal which saw legitimate migrant and fairly targeted 
one of the offender believed to have been aboard yesterday flight was Akeem Finnelly, who was jailed for six years for glassing, glassing a man with a broken bottle in 2011. Wound inflicted by Finnelly scarred his is 20 year 20 year old victim for life finally now 31 who live in Croydon South London at a time of the offense came came to the UK age 10 investigating officer detective constable Austin Ilkins said at the time of finally sentencing for GBH at Blackfires Concord finally failed to admit any responsibility of his actions. Anti-deportation campaign group Movement for Justice said it believed finally was among a group taken from Cornbrook Immigration Removal Centre near Heathrow Airport for deportation. Matt Vicker, the, the Tory MP for Stockton South, condemned Labour MP for campaigning to stop the deportation. I am completely baffled as to why Labour politicians are so eager to keep murderers and child rapists in Britain. He said, the majority of people in this country fully, fully stand by the Home Office decision to remove criminals who pose danger to people in this country. All the offenders will have been handed at least 12 months in jail to qualify for deportation. Ministers are required to enforce such deportation and the law passed by Labour in 2007. A charter flight to Jamaica in December saw 23 offenders including murderers and rapists pull off the plane at the last moment. On that occasion, 13 were deported. Miss Patel right to right to the criminals who were due to deported yesterday allowing them to remain should be a stain on the consciousness of our nation she added i am determined to reform our law so that foreign criminals who break our law can no longer abuse our system and laugh in the face of a british people as home secretary Keeping the public safe is my number one priority. A key part of that mission is removing people who, who come to this country, abusing our hospi hospitality and committing crimes. Zane, it's a big article. Zane and we are going to leave it right there, sir. Zin, I'm going to leave it right there because um, just for time still. But two, two virgin, you know, um, almost, well, you know, try to commit suicide. Them said they would die before, um, you know, them, 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 them go back to Jamaica. They would, they would rather, they would rather die. You know what I mean? Yeah, they would rather die. So it's a serious thing. But um, as me I say, the emphasis that um put around Jamaicans being deported, it 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 look like um Jamaicans are 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 being targeted. That you know that 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 is how it look to I'm on that Jamaicans Jamaicans are being targeted in 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 this thing. You see me, I say, yeah, and you know, if someone they are from them, are, them, them are a four year old, five year old, you know, they should be deported. Why should they be deported? You know, I mean, they're like you know, British, you know, 
it's like they, they, it's the only thing them them was a born here but they they are a product of britain because you know someone leave from the country and come here at four and now 34 you know 30 30 years out of them life you know them 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 grow up here so you know whatever them know you know they would have little knowledge of jamaica at you know being four majority a uh, 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 99 percent of you know them upbringing and knowledge of things would have been from the uk that does you know i, I just saw you know what i mean because you you, you 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 bring a youth from out of england you know and you drop him in a france zine and he must speak english from him 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 him, him reach the age where he can speak english and you drop him in a france for the le- for the next 30 years automatically he's gonna learn french and start to speak french you know what i mean it's just natural so when someone they are them place uh, for so long you know they are a product of of of, of this environment whatever um they become in life is just a product of 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 england you know what i mean that is that is just the reality we cannot run from that you know what i mean we have a we have a face the reality say that is just how it is you know what i mean so as me said me did one for you me did one for drop couple clips for the item you understand we already gone over 20 minutes already so make with us um drop this first one all people in immigration detention people can end up there for all sorts of reasons and we're campaigning for a fundamental reform to our detention and deportation system your view of what thank you for that your view of what took place around 1 a.m it was utter chaos last night nick i was taking referrals from people at nine o'clock at night including one man who says his father was a british citizen has a british passport was a windrush settler um who was being uh, carried onto the plane because he's too unwell to walk what is his too crime? elderly what, and what frail was he, what was he found guilty of i don't know the details of his um offense i don't know anything about his case because as i say the referral came through incredibly late at night and we were undertaking urgent action to try and investigate the windrush um aspect because obviously if he is uh, windrush entitled then he's as good as a british citizen and shouldn't be being supported so i think that's where the, the windrush why, why concerns his, come from Nick. i appreciate the efforts that you and your colleagues put in but why would they have left that until around 9 p.m because the, the, the Home Office doesn't know what it's doing to be completely blunt. Oh, no, 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 but this gentleman does. This. This, this gentleman does. Let's call him Mr. A. Why this would Mr. A and his the... team wait until 9pm to contact you and your colleagues when you're staring down the gun four hours from evic- uh, deportation? So what happens in these cases, Nick, is that the system often becomes completely overwhelmed. Um, it, on this occasion, I don't think that his existing legal representatives knew what were they, they were doing and they didn't put in a representations about his Windrush situation. He was also a very confused man. Um, he, he's clearly suffering from mental health problems uh, and was struggling to understand what, what's been going on to, with him the last couple of days. And was he subsequently um, deported? Has he gone? He, he has gone he has gone the other thing that that we saw happen last night were some absolutely horrifying suicide attempts by people who have been in the uk since they were young children um two two men are currently in hospital and i believe that one of them is not conscious um he's got all of his family here um he said he would rather die in britain than be returned to a country where he fears for his life he was attacked uh, and almost killed when he was nine years old in jamaica that's why he was sent here right. um and because of issues the family were having he has i believe a um assault conviction from when he was 14 years old right. um do you oh, really sorry, no, see from, this from, as from another? 2014. My apologies. Um, Do you honestly see this as another Windrush, Bella? Because, in the terms of wind, Windrush, was a scar that will forever be on the this government. Sorry, the preceding government has to say. Um, but people caught up in that were utterly blameless here. And I appreciate, I appreciate it. Some instances, low level crime. They are all criminals. So I think, I think the thing with Windrush, Nick, is this: that this is a legacy Windrush issue. 
the vast majority of the people that were on this flight or meant to be on the flight are only in the UK because of the, the legacy of Windrush, because their grandparents or their aunts or their uncles came to the UK. The reason why we have a big Jamaican community in the UK is because of the legacy of empire, yeah. um, colonialism, slavery, and then Windrush. And so what you're doing by removing people's loved ones is you're re-inflicting the pain and trauma of a lot of those historical events. Some of these emerge. Events. So, so here's the thing, Nick. I don't take issue with the use of deportation as a tool. I believe that sometimes it is going to be just and right and appropriate to deport an individual that's committed a very serious offence and doesn't have proper ties to the UK. But once someone has spent 20, 30 plus, 40 plus years in some of the cases we saw last night and has all of their family here, has young children here, um, then they are as good as British, and this is and this is where you get into difficulties because um, those individuals need a much more nuanced approach to their situation than the law allows. At the moment, the law says if you get a twelve month conviction, that's it, you're gone. Um, so that scoops up in its path someone who's a serial murderer, but also somebody that that's got a conviction for cannabis possession. Bella, thank you for your time. Only for time reasons, I'll leave it there. I sense we'll talk again. Thank you for your yeah so um as as the item can hear you know i mean people who they they are campaigning and, and um they're only campaigning because you know some of you know the 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 the, the way it's been done and some of the people have always been deported you know they, they shouldn't have been you know them shouldn't have get the port really you know based on what you know the, that 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 I was saying just then. Some of the people them should not get the port. But um, listen this, listen this, um, listen this other budget. Uh, it's a it's a windrush legacy issue. Ben, your view. Morning. Good morning. Well, I don't think it, it can be described as a as a windrush issue because we have to remember that windrush was about um, really the scandal was about lost um. Paperwork. landing card uh, for people that, that come here legitimately uh, and weren't criminals and, and were being deported um, because of a mix-up at the Home Office. This is about people that have committed very serious crimes. I mean, it, what we heard earlier, you, you don't get a 12-month sentence. It's very rare that you get a 12-month sentence as a cannabis possession. And um, These are serious crimes, murders, serious assaults, rapes. Um, but and I think we have to remember that, that British citizenship or, or the right to be in this country is a privilege. And if people come here and commit very serious crimes, uh, then uh, I think they, they erode that privilege uh, right. and it's right that it's taken. But uh, let's use the example. A young man born in Jamaica comes here age four or five, then goes on to commit that level of crime, whether it be arms, drugs, murder, whatever. Born in Jamaica, bred in the UK. Surely it's our responsibility to look after him after his term. Uh, no, I, I, I don't think so. I think it's, so he came here at have, five, uh, Ben? He came here at well, five? It, 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 it doesn't matter because, as I say, the, 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 the what's happened is a very serious crime has been committed and we have to maintain the position that citizenship and residence in this country is a privilege and it's not a privilege for those that come here and abuse our systems and, and, and kill people and commit serious crime so i don't think you can you can say well yes but he's been here since since he was a child the same rule must apply for everyone and um you know i think the message is that uh, if you commit serious crime there are serious consequences even though you may be going back to a country where you have effectively no network no support network uh, well, yeah, look, people that commit serious crime go to prisons. Prisons aren't nice places, but, but that's the punishment for the crime. And, you know, what, where I do think there is a point here is I think a lot of these cases are being used by the Home Office and used by Priti Patel to paper over the sheer scale of immigration because the, the real public concern about immigration is, is in relation to mass immigration and is in relation to people that um, have come here in such huge numbers, 715,000 last year entered the country. So I do think we have to uh, keep this in perspective that we're talking... Grateful to you, Ben. I must leave it there for time reasons. Ben harris Quinney, you chair the BOGRE. Yeah, so, all right, make we hear... Make we hear an actual liar now because, you know... You know, you're a different side of the coin. They don't. I know how the Manchester will come on and be complaining about the people who um, made the legal appeals, the lawyers, the activists, campaigners, others. Um, but the point is, that's her job. 
she should have insured those people um, if she had paid for them. And we have a charter flight, which it's estimated the cost. We saw on the news today, someone said I think up to 300,000, someone saying 100,000, 200,000, just to report seven people in the end. I think that's a massive failure for the Home Secretary. I think it's time for her to reflect on what she's been doing and what her party's been doing for the past decade, rather than trying to make someone else a scapegoat. What I don't understand, and I'm sure you can help me with here, is that in some instances, these foreign-born criminals have been due for deportation for, in some instances, four or five years, and yet it is left hours prior to departure when fresh evidence is filed. Why might that be? Um, that's usually because, I mean, again, unfortunately, that's how the system is set up. Um, we say that fresh evidence is filed, but what that, that usually means is that fresh evidence went to the court, and it was the court that granted an injunction. Now, in anything, you know, criminal matter, civil matter, anything, if you want an injunction, that's always the last minute, last, re last resort option, if the other side isn't agreeing to it. So as soon as someone was um, uh, informed, any of, of these people were informed that they would be put on the charter flight, I'm sure they and their lawyers would have been struggling and working and making efforts from that moment. But it is the Home Office who, who either wouldn't respond or would just keep rejecting things or will refuse to look at evidence. And you only really have a chance to go to court when you can say to the judge, look, the fight is now hours away. The Home Office is, is refusing to um, do anything about it. They're refusing to consider the case. If you do that five days or a week or two weeks in advance, the court would obviously just throw that up, go to the Home Office. This is the Home Office's job. So that's just the way that the system is set up. And again, if the Home Office would have just looked at that evidence a week or two or a month or, as you say, five years ago, um, then, you know, we, we would have known this person isn't due for deportation. So in all these instances, you think that's what the, the problem might have been, Mr. Khan, a backlog? Um, I think, I, I mean, I would be very, I know, I know very you don't surprised. have individual cases, I understand no, that. No, of but course. Yes, yes. But, but I think with my experience, I would be very surprised if someone, the first time they were presenting any evidence, um, was, you know, when it went to the High Court now. You can't just go straight to the High Court you, or the Upper Tribunal. It must have been through so many other processes within the Home Office and thrown out at every stage. And then one goes to the Upper Tribunal. tribunal. But you can um, but that's, so, obviously, obviously the, the Home Office failure to consider these things. But you can you understand, understand lastly, the fury of my listeners and others that these are people who have committed very high level crime, rape, for child, murder. They really I think possibly the country would be better off without them, wouldn't it? I mean, well, well, I can understand the fear of everyone should be on the because it's our money being um, wasted. Um, and again, some of the, for instance, will be said and said in the be said will have been on legal aid, which may be things that the government was paying for the legal costs as well. So it's the British public that uses that every way just because of the home office incompetence. So if, for instance, now one of those people does win a claim on the basis that they have a 12 year old British child and the court says they shouldn't be separated from them, well, the home office knew about that child 12 years ago. It could have made that rational, logical, legal decision. So if they're suggesting that the courts are making a um, decisions against the law. Clearly that's wrong. They're making decisions in line with the law as Parliament has set out. So if the Home Office isn't following the law that the Parliament sets out, I think that's the Home Secretary's fault. And lastly, should a man who perhaps came to this country age four or five or six and then committed crimes in his teens and is now in his twenties or thirties, should he be deported in any instance? Um, I think it depends on the situation, but I would say generally no, because if someone came here and they were four, five, six, we made him what he is. It was almost as if he was born here. So if the other family is all settled, he's set up his family life now, he has a partner, he has British children. He served standards like any British person would do. Um, and part of the penal system should be rehabilitation, um, uh, or, you know, preventing reoffending and so on. Shwab Khan, thank you. Your human rights lawyer will take. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, the Virgin I said, boy, yeah, him, him, no, him no think that someone who, you know, come here at that age really should, you know, should be deported, you know, after um, being here for so long, you know what I mean? So, what they I didn't think, you know, what, you know, is dear, is dear element of um, racism in what is going on or... You know, it's just, you know, a, a, a natural thing that's supposed to happen. What are what the item views? You know, the item can reason with me in the um, comment section. Let me know what the item think about um, this whole deportation. Seven been deported yesterday um, back to Jamaica from the UK and 43 avoided 
um, being deported. So that is how we have time for right now. As I said, yeah, then you can um, reason with me in the comment section and uh, make one know what the item um, thoughts on this thing. The program was um, officially powered by Black Star International Media. Zin, and as our manners give thanks and praise, you know, for the strength and the support every time. And I'm um, coming to the item very soon is the mindset roots, yeah, and fruit juices. Yeah, look out for it coming to the item way very soon. All right, so if it's the first time the item are tuning in and I plug in on the platform, yeah. The item um, could um, please subscribe, hit that um, notification bell so whenever time we're there again, the item will be notified. Zin, and please browse the channel for more credible content. Oli Manuel I, Celestia Ja, Rastafari. Peace and love.